So here's the inside again now. We've made some progress on it. We've got uh, we've got some of the, the headliner removed. The outside part of it anyways, not the inner part. You can see a little in, uh, mouse damage there, but uh, here we can see the uh, center console, the factory tack. The smell level is much better in here now. We still haven't opened up this center console. I gotta figure that one out. But yeah, we started to clean up some of this mess in the back. So that looks a whole lot better. The chrome pieces that I've removed have been uh, polished. So yeah, a little bit of progress there. And we were able to open up the trunk. We'll show that in a little while. Oh, I also wanted to show you guys the success we had with, with the trunk because we couldn't get it open before. Now we can. There we go. It's a little tight. So we were able to finally get this trunk free. I guess probably all they're cleaning around this here and it was stuck somehow. But it seems to work now a little bit. Anyways, these are the parts from inside the uh, the trunk sides. They were all intact, but pretty rough condition. But I'm just keeping them for patterns. And then the same as these pieces off the uh, headliner, you can see the headliner is all pretty much disintegrated. It looked like this, same as what's on the, uh, the visors. This stuff here, so it's all disintegrated with age. So that's what the big mess was in the back. And again, I've kept those pieces there for uh, to make some patterns. So I do have a spare wheel underneath there to try to hold these up and I'm gonna stick that under there, trying to keep some shape there. So we've got the original jack, it looks like. These were the bows for the, for the headliner. And then all this stuff was here. It looks like blue golf mat or whatever. I believe that's the original trunk mat. Now that was throughout the entire trunk. But unfortunately, when I opened it up, it was all wet back here. And uh, it was just falling apart. So it ended up filling up a big garbage bag. And that's where it ended up. Now, I just kind of kept that piece as a little sample. But yeah, the whole trunk was, was lined. But the interesting thing is how good and solid this trunk is. Like, I believe that's original factory uh, red oxide primer. I could be wrong. If anybody knows, uh, you can let me know. I can see blue paint from the original color of the car. So that would all be original. Uh, usually these cars are, you know, rotted in behind the rear wheels here. And you can see how good this one is. This car hasn't seen uh, Canadian winters, Canadian salt. Uh, so that's a big, big bonus. I mean, look how, I mean, it's dirty and gross in there, but that's all solid metal. Uh, original factory. There's a little bit of rust here where it kind of meets the gas tank. Um, I don't know how bad that's going to be, but uh, no holes, that's for sure. That And that's probably the worst of it right there for the whole trunk. So, I mean, that's pretty impressive for a 60-year-old car, in my opinion. Anyways, uh, and then we can also see how good the trunk is. There's a tiny bit of rust around that lip, you know, but let's try to get the angle so we can actually see the, the lip of that trunk. And this will be good for me too, because I can't even see it that good. So I'll see it better when I put it on TV, put it on the computer. A little bit there, but a lot of that's just the, the factory sealer coming off some surface rust but not bad not too bad a little bit of rust down in there but really really superficial it's kind of funny here somebody uh had their uh trailer wiring hooked up and uh, instead of uh you know maybe running it through somewhere conventionally they just went ahead and uh punched a hole right through the sheet metal in the car <laughs> i don't actually No, I don't think they did punch a hole there. I think that hole was there for something. Um, but that hole... 
don't think that's a factory option <laughs> that I've ever seen, but who knows? Oh look, there's even mouse poo inside the uh, taillights. <laughs> Anyways, that's enough of mouse poo. We've got jacking instructions. Nice. So what we've done so far is we've tried to soak it down a little bit with some solvents, some WD-40 and PB blaster, transmission fluid, and Marvel mystery oil, all the good stuff. Still didn't have any success, so we're, we've been putting uh, diesel in there mixed with transmission fluid. Uh, we can try it real quick and see if it's going to turn over. So what we have here is this uh, bore scope here. And uh, what we're going to try and do is get some video of inside the cylinder bore. It's kind of hard to maneuver it. That must be the edge of it. I can see red. It's some fluid. I wonder if we can get a bit of a bend on this thing. But at least the fluid has gone through and leaked down into the into the engine, right? So that's a good sign, at least, of fluid yet. So that's telling me that the fluid isn't penetrating through the cylinder. And so therefore, that's a problem. Right, in the number eight, See the fluid, it's just red. Hard to really see what we're looking at there. Let's just put some straight up diesel in that one that's stuck, maybe. So we try not to overfill and make too much of a mess. That one's thirsty. Brand new from like 20 years ago. Actually, probably more. Have another look with the boroscope and see if we can see anything. The spark plug looks nice and dry, so I have a feeling it's all good. Looks to me like that cylinder is completely flooded with lube. Yes, it is. Getting a little bit in there. hear it when it fills up. So you guys kind of get the idea here what I'm trying to accomplish. Yep. I'll get this back out of the way from the rear two cylinders. I'm going to shut this off. And I'm going to fill up my bottle again. So number five, 
guess I don't have anything underneath this. Too much of a mess here. See what else we can maybe do here. Get this out of the way. Uh, what I'm going to try to do is flood the areas where the lifters go down. I don't know if I should try to tap on these valves. pressure there. Down the old hatch. Yeah. She's pretty full. I would say it's up to there. So if that's one quart. One, two, three. We've got like four quarts too high in it. I don't think we can do a whole lot else down here today, to be honest. Until we can get this old thing freed up, we're kind of stuck. We just busted her free. No way. It moved. Sweet success. I don't know if I want to keep trying. Or just let it soak like that now. I think the smartest thing for us to do is to let it soak like that now for a little longer, right? And uh, I don't want to try to, it's all full of fluid, and I don't want to try to compress that fluid because that's not going to work. Now I really want to turn it more. I really do. But I think the smart thing is to just leave it. Leave it alone. Let that soak for another week or two. See if we can really turn this, get this thing starting to turn. Anyways, that's uh, that's today, February 17th, 16th, whatever day it is, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to pop this door off. I think. Anyways. Yeah, let's call that a day.